Hello, welcome to my Arduino circuit. Here I'm going to take you through it. You can pause the video yourself if you wish to look at the screenshots of the code. Don't worry that it won't be pixelated. By defining pins, I was able to create code accordingly. Firstly, demonstrating my unique set of sensors where the front sensor is used to determine the speed, as shown initially being 400 increasing to 600 RPM, displayed FR in the serial monitor. Depending on how far an object is, where if the object is extremely close, a reverse turn will be activated. This 3.0 turn is demonstrated by the servo motor changing and in the speed and rotation where the use of constant integers came into place along with if else statements, steering and steer code. Going on to the left and right sensors which influence the servo motor, if an object is closer to the left sensor, the card will move to the right and vice versa. If both left and right sensors are at the around the same displacement here, the card will continue to move straight. With the use of constant integers, if else statements involving various calculations for the required speed, steering commands involving complex if statements where a differentiation between a soft left hard left would be demonstrated and vice versa for the right side the sensors themselves would generate ascii codes therefore making use of strings in labview all of this may be overwritten with the use of labview where code has been written which enables data to be sent to and from labview our values have been defined and mapped into the arduino code as i input a letter in the serial monitor as you can see the angle of the server will change along with the rpm of the motor thus going back to the pre previous method of input which would be initially the sensor. PID makes use of constant boolean code with k values having to be determined to ensure the required speed is cal calibrated taking note of volatile script and was made use for the interrupts. Where there is an encoder ensuring a pulse isn't missed making use of the sensors various calculations and formulae had to be created for the work to include digital analog means thus calculating the actual speed of the motor matching it with the desired speed temperature sensor here has been placed for code making use of further calculations and analog read and thus displaying the temperature in the serial monitor where if the temperature is too high overheating will be displayed here thus leading to the fan to run lastly for the a uh, third type of sensor, the light sensor, where if an um, if an else statement is being used, ensuring light turns in dark and turns off in the light. No intermittent behavior in the middle, as the mid uh, as shown in the midpoint, with the use of an extended size variables for number of storage along with communication between two Arduinos. I have a magnometer which works, where the conversion takes place between zero to three sixty, demonstrated an Arduino to inputting an input string where it will be solved and leading to a second Arduino solution where the bits will be read by creating a slave device Arduino 1 to the master Arduino 2 in this case where XY displacement is shown in the Arduino 1 and re shown in Arduino 2. Thank you for watching.